hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope everyone is doing fine so today i am doing a different style of a video so this is not the usual unboxing and review videos we have seen on the channel so far so today we are looking at the state of my hmt collection for 2023 so yeah let's get right into it so i know there have been a plethora of hmt videos on the channel recently and like this would be sort of a perfect you know recap of all the watch, watch, hmt watches which we have unboxed on the channel so far there are some on here which i haven't unboxed on the channel so yeah let's look at them one by one in no particular order so yeah let's start the yellow kohinoor so yeah this was part of my first hmt order uh, which i ordered from uh, the official website back in july 2022 it was way way easier to get hmt back watches back then so I, I in the unboxing video as well I, I mentioned how frustrating it is to get it from the website and i had no idea how worse it was gonna get later on so it was much better back then so i waited like less than a month for my watches to get back in stock so these were like, like around 2900 back then so yeah this is the stunning yellow matte koinur with the red second hand yeah next like, let's move on to the two limited edition uh, koinurs which were part of the uh, project it started uh, by one of the community members on a reddit post and then it yeah, they released like four different versions in the first uh, release and these all had the limited edition engraving on the back so they released the without limited edition as well on the website the this one is the salmon uh, sunburst there's the salmon mat there's the uh, ice blue which we will get to next and then there's the peacock blue or dark blue or something yeah there was different colorways available and those uh, the web ones released on the website didn't have this uh, limited edition etching on the back but still even without the limited edition they are getting really really tough to get nowadays so they listed it around like 8500 or something on the site like one or two weeks back which is like ridiculous for the <laughs> when you compare it to the price it's like a year back so yeah this is the salmon sunburst next this is my perhaps my favorite koinur this is the ice blue sunburst koinur this was also part of the limited edition reddit project yeah I, I chose these two colorways yeah and in hindsight i should have chosen all the four the way their values have risen i should have definitely went for all the four they were like three thousand approx uh, including shipping and i couldn't be more happier with them so and these are all hand-worn matches so powered by the zero two three one seventeen jewels movement direct from citizen and yeah let's move on to the iconic hmt pilot black tile pilot with the black leather strap so yeah all these were all the, till the three coinos they came with the metal straps this one came with the black leather strap and yeah this was also part of my first hmt order so i ordered the black pilot the uh, yellow coinos and uh, the devnagri janta will get to next so as part of my first order in july 2022 so this was i think the most expensive of the bunch around 4000 yeah the acrylic crystal is crashed but yeah some you know, a bit of poly watch and it will be back to new yeah and the red second hand uh, against the black tile yeah this is just a classic next perhaps the most iconic uh, hmt watch maybe yeah this is the janta devanagri with uh, blue numerals and the blue uh, hands so this came with the metal strap but yeah i, I changed it for this uh, nice looking uh, blue leather strap with white stitching and yeah this one has the uh, transparent case back so this is the only one of my empty watches which has this so you can clearly see the hand wound movement yeah stunning stunning watch no plans whatsoever to get rid of these anytime soon next yeah which i unboxed on the channel recently it was not a recent acquisition i finally just got around to uploading the video recently but yeah this is the hmt kajal the uh, my first automatic uh, and my only automatic hmt till now yeah so yeah it has the uh, automatic 21 jewels movement and a pretty stunning gold and sunburst style with the day date as well and the black cushion case so yeah this is the HMT Kajal. So this is a discontinued model as I mentioned in the unboxing video as well. So yeah, I sourced it from the uh, official uh, store in HMT uh, through, uh, through a community member. Yeah, I'm, I'm not very sure if these are available anymore or not. But yeah, you could perhaps 
check with the Bangalore store. Yeah, this is what this was the HMT card sale, the automatic one. Uh, next, okay, so these are the two quad watches which I got recently uh, from HMT. Like, I didn't get around to unboxing on the uh, channel yet, but yeah, I visited the uh, museum, uh, the HMT museum in Jalali, uh, Bangalore. And yeah, I was browsing through the watches, so obviously they didn't have any hand wounds or the Janta Pilot coin or whatever. So they had the Tariq project watches and these two watches, these looked quite uh, good together. So for uh, like him and her watch, so yeah, I bought two of them. So this is the HMT Galaxy quads, so both are white tile and these are the only quads HMTs which I own. This one came with a metal strap, so but to make the look you know matching, so I, I swapped it for a 20 mm uh, black leather strap, and now these like, feel like the perfect pair. Okay, so next, so these are two pre owned watches, so the, the one still now were brand new from shop, uh, and like these two are the pre owned HMT Rohits, which I found uh, which I found online, and yeah, this one was the first one which I got. So yeah, something about the tile, the simplicity, the sunburst effect just hooked me in and this was the this was my first HMT Rohit. As you can see, there are some imperfections on the dial as well, but yeah, that's what you get. So I, I'm not, not very bothered about it. it. It doesn't even matter when you put it on the wrist. So this is also an handbound watch, 0231 So yeah, it looks pretty stunning. And this is the golden colorway for it. So yeah, yeah, it looks pretty nice. So you have the black chapter ring which have uh, sort of a golden markings and then you have the brushed golden dial. So this is on the HMT uh, Jubilee bracelet and yeah. These are the two HMT Rohits which I got recently. These are also discontinued models. So uh, these I bought pre-owned from community members. So I'll, I'll put the link of the Facebook group from where you can also browse through pre-owned watches which people put up for sale you never know what you might find so so i play around with uh, straps as well a lot so the the, the kohinoos they mostly remain on the metal strap itself the yellow one was on a black leather strap like a few days back this one as i said these are all 18 mm so i have bought uh, like a bunch of 18 mm straps and i uh, cycle through them this one is 16 mm the kachal so but it looks stunning on the black leather strap itself so i leave it as is yeah hmt boxes boxes have also evolved over time so yeah they used to ship in a uh, this is a pretty low quality plastic box early on so my first order which was this this and this one they came each in a uh, like plastic box like most of the watches in fact they, they shipped in this but yeah after the limited edition watches these two and the automatic one which was which is also like considerably expensive than the hand one ones they shipped in a, a better quality you know in a jewelry box sort of a thing so and that was it for the video guys i hope you liked my state of the hmt collection and let's see what all pieces i get to add in the coming year uh, so thanks for tuning in and i'll see you in my next one thanks bye